Hello everyone. Regarding the checksum error 502 uh, CMOS uh, message on the HP laptops, the new ones. Have in mind that those laptops do not have the CMOS separate from the main battery, but it uh, draining it from the main battery. So it's a really, really technically from a technical side really really a bad solution from uh, have a pocket and I don't know why they do it uh, but you don't have to buy a new battery you don't uh, need to uh, you I mean you can download the utility update but you can also do uh, something which I've done so you can like uh, pull the bat battery out uh, leave it somewhere where it's hot not too hot like in a kitchen for two three days and then you turn it back and then it will charge again so if you don't want to risk losing your uh, data with this BIOS update because if you have BitLocker or any maintenance securities for files and uh, sharing on uh, if you want to avoid losing data and not being occupied with uh, solving this uh, output issue because uh, input and output wasn't uh, calculated correctly. Uh, Harold Packard has done a lousy job here. Uh, just pull the battery out after two days, put it back in, put the charger in, and don't disconnect the charger. Don't use it without the charger. Uh, if you use it without the charger, then you have to do it again. It's like not much work, but basically. In my opinion, avoid buying any laptop which has uh, the CMOS battery integrated with the main battery. Technically, it's really, really a lousy solution and I myself uh, didn't buy the laptop and I wouldn't if I, if I knew that there is something like that. I would never buy such uh, technology.